we've lost a few people, but that being said, I think we've got a lot of key guys back. We've been able to add uh, a lot of new faces to our program. Uh, I think those guys have come in and, and really gelled with our guys. And so I think we're going to have a very competitive fall camp. Uh, I think uh, our veteran leaders are doing a great job of pushing guys right now, and I'm excited to get on the field with them. Yeah, you know, that's one of the things we've kind of started addressing, obviously. We did that in spring ball as you go back and you break down things and, and seeing what we did getting up to that point. And then once we got down there, uh, a lot of it just comes down to execution, staying ahead of the chains, being productive on first down. Uh, as you go back and study and look, we've added some wrinkles. I think obviously uh, with the new faces and some people that are coming in, you're going to be able to do some different things schematically. And I think it does obviously help having Davis coming back in, in year two, uh, just being a little more settled down there and understanding what we got to do and how we got to do it to get in. Yeah, I'm really excited about that group, honestly. I mean, I, we've got a lot of new faces in there, and we've got to get those guys to gel and get them on the same page. You know how important that is. I talk about it all the time. If you, if you have an opportunity and you are winning the trench, you always have a chance to win ball games. And so uh, we've got guys that got some experience coming back. we got some new faces that are going to be flown in there. Uh, but that being said, uh, I think we have a talented group. I think we've got a really hungry group. Uh, that's that's half the battle right there. And so I, I'm excited to see those guys come together as we get into fall camp. Yeah, so obviously getting Kendarian Ray back back there, you know, we lost him kind of early in the season last year with the injury and, and missed the rest. And, and so having his veteran leadership back, his experience back, that's going to pay dividends for us. Uh, you lose Christian Williams, who's been a starter here for a long time. But, you know, Bryson Powers, Basically started a whole year uh, when, when Christian wasn't with us due to injury, uh, has been a starter for us. So his presence back there, his experience back there is obviously going to help. You look at Tyon Davis, who I thought really as the year went on, just progressively got better and better each time he stepped on the field. I watch him now as we've gone through spring ball. We've gone through uh, all of our summer conditioning and work. Uh, I think he's got a chance to have a tremendous year. Uh, Tyree has an opportunity to be our other corner. Uh, that being said, we got a big battle that's going to be happening right there at that spot with some new faces again that are in and some that have been around here for a little while. You look at the free safety spot, uh, LJ has played quite a bit for us, uh, made some big plays late in the game, uh, late in the year, uh, in the bowl game as well. And so he's had a tremendous spring ball. He's had a really good summer. Uh, but there'll be some battles going on back there in the secondary. But I, I feel good about the talent level that we have and, and the way those guys are progressing. Well, you know, everybody's got dreams and everybody's got uh, an opportunity to go to live out those dreams. And, and I think we've just proven uh, that with hard work and dedication and, and uh, playing football the right way, you know, leaning on each other, sacrificing for each other. Don't worry about the individual accolades. Just let's take care of each other as we work through it. I think we have proof now that that can happen right here at the University of Tulsa. And so I think we got some other guys that kind of fit into that mode. Uh, we got several guys drafted this year, like you said, with the two first rounders in the last two years. That's been pretty special. And so uh, I'm excited about that part of it. I know our guys are, are hungry to continue to keep that trend going. You know, we, we let those guys pick wherever they want to pick us. Uh, it doesn't surprise us at this point. And so uh, I think our guys understand it and understand that it's going to be decided on the field and it, and it starts week one with us. But we got some veterans that have been around here like Justin Wright and Anthony Goodlow and guys that have been through these these type of battles with us. And so we're going to focus on us. We're going to focus on game one and then continue to strive to get better each and every week. Well, yeah, we had some guys that were growing and, and learning, and we understood where we were at and what we were doing and what we were trying to build. Uh, that being said, uh, we've got a lot of those guys still on this team that ha has gone through the battles, and you, you've been on the field with in tough games. You know how they're going to react. You know how they're going to respond. I think one of the things that has been a staple of our program is we're going to play for a full 60 minutes. Every second of it, we're going to get the best that we got. Uh, I think that is a signature of who we are and who we will continue to be. And our guys really relish in that part of it. I don't know. I mean, you go up to Wyoming, you know, Coach Bowles does an unbelievable job. I mean, we played them once here at home. 
A uh, very well coached team, very physical team. We know we're going to have our hands full. Plus, they play Illinois before they play us, so uh, they get game one underneath their belt before we get up there. So to start off the year at their place, I think it's going to be an extremely tough game. You get the MAC champion after that. You got Ole Miss uh, in that mix where we're on the road, and then you turn right around and you've got Cincinnati and Navy both. So uh, I think our, our schedule is just as challenging as it's always been. Uh, but we got to do it week by week, game by game, and, and that's what our guys are focused on right now. Yeah, and, and we really have a couple more. That's just the latest edition of them, right? But that being said, um, I'm really pleased with what we were able to find and what we were able to bring in. We were looking for certain things, certain skill sets, uh, guys with a couple of years left to be able to build and grow with. Uh, I think these guys have got a lot of talent. They're going to be able to add to us. Uh, you know, I think our biggest challenge, and I think it's one of the biggest challenges for all college football teams across the country right now, is getting your teams to gel and come together uh, with all the new faces that are in a lot of different locker rooms across the country. I think that's going to be a key element, uh, especially here early in the season. Dan, I don't know. I mean, we're going to wait and see. There's a lot of people in a lot of rooms that are discussing all of that, right? And... Uh, you know, as we kind of figure out where all of this is going and, and uh, you see the trends and you see what it kind of looks like, you know, I think for us right now, uh, we got to be worried and focused on what we got to do this season. So uh, we'll let the guys in those rooms kind of figure that part of it out. And then as those things start coming to light and we get a little bit more information, a little bit more direction, then we probably got to sit down and kind of figure out what that's going to be. You know, I think the biggest thing for, for Davis is just – uh, letting the offense work for him, being patient, not pressing on some things. Obviously, uh, year two is different for a starting quarterback. To get a year underneath your belt, you've seen a lot of different things. You've been in a lot of battles. You have some things to kind of draw back on. Uh, I think he is much more comfortable in what we're doing now and what he does within that. Uh, I think uh, the amount of time that he's been able to spend not only in the film room but on the field with the receivers and, and getting that timing and that work with them uh, I think is going to pay dividends for us. And so uh, for him, uh, I think it's relaxing, understanding down and distance situational things, uh, getting us in the right play at the right time, uh, and then just executing at a high level. Yeah, there, there's good and bad to that, honestly. Uh, the, the, the tough part is, is, is uh, you've got it. You've got to know how to deal with it. You've got to protect your players, but you've got to get your work in uh, as you do that. Uh, the tough part is, is we've been dealing with it now for, for multiple weeks, and, and so our guys are starting to really adjust and understand what it feels like and what, it, what it's going to be when we step on the field come fall camp time. Uh, so I think... Uh, mentally, they're ready for it. Physically, we got to do a good job of monitoring things and, and making sure we may have to adjust our practice schedule a little bit. That break may need to be a little bit longer. This may need to happen. And, and we'll kind of keep our eyes on that as we work our way through it. But we got to be smart about getting the work in that we need. Well, I think, number one, we've, we've built this conference together. And I think the, the respect that our conference has gained throughout the nation uh, is tremendous and, and that has happened through a lot of hard work and us playing some tough schedules and going on the road and playing some tough games as a conference group and then performing well in those uh, and then as you got into conference you saw the levels just every year continuing to step up you look at the number of draft picks that have happened out of our league uh, you look at the coaches that have been in our league you've got some uh, really exceptional coaches leading these groups but these these athletes that are in our conference uh, they are, they are tough and they are continuing to grow and, and the talent level here is, is at an all-time high. As we welcome these new teams in, uh, I'm excited about that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to bring some more regional matchups to it. It's going to bring some more fanfare to it, I believe. Uh, I think uh, the competition level is going to stay uh, at a really high spot. And uh, I know I am looking forward to those opportunities. But, you know, obviously right now, uh, we've got the ones that we've got and uh, looking forward to this season with them. Well, uh, our focus is always to win that week, whoever we're playing. And, and I look forward to obviously some of those matchups uh, because we've had some great matchups, whether that's Cincinnati or Houston or whoever. And so uh, I don't think there adds any more to it. We've had uh, some great rivalries that have really generated through this. You think about Tulsa and Houston, they've been in the same conference a lot throughout the years. 
Uh, so there's a good, strong rivalry there. I think we've created this thing with Cincinnati over the past seven to eight years. And uh, it's been a great matchup, kind of swinging both ways. So uh, I'm excited to step on the field with them again this year. Uh, it's always a great competitive game. It's always a real physical game. And uh, those are the ones that you always kind of pinpoint and always looking forward to. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.